Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vert is here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can fix a couple of things with your weapons aiming. So those things that we're going to be fixing is we're going to be showing you how to stop aiming while you're reloading. So if you take a quick look at my screen here, if I shoot a couple of times and then press R to reload, I can hold down right click and it's going to move the camera with the reloading animation we don't really want that. What we're also going to be fixing is showing you how to make it stop aiming while you're sprinting because if I hold down shift and then right click you can see we have this weird looking run animation here um, and the camera is just attached to the rifle, the rifle sideways and it just doesn't look that great and also we're also going to be showing you how you can remove this little crosshair when you are aiming. Now I know I have shown you how to remove it for the static crosshair, it's pretty much exactly the same thing uh, with a dynamic one but I'll be just showing you anyway just so you can figure it all out. So what we need to do then, to start with is I'm going to go and figure out how we can stop aiming while we're, re while we're reloading and also how we can stop aiming while we are sprinting. Now all of this information, all the inputs and all that good stuff is inside of the third person character. So having said that we're going to open it up and then inside of here what we are going to do is jump down to our aiming stuff. So basically, essentially what we need to do before it st starts to aim down its sights is we essentially need to run a couple of checks. We need to check to see if they're sprinting and if they're reloading. If they are sprinting, you know, we want it to tell it, we want to tell it to um, stop aiming down sights and all of that good stuff. So let me show you how you can do that. So starting off with aim down sights, drag this out a little bit all the way over to the left so we have a bit of room here. From pressed, drag out a branch to create this little condition and what we're going to be doing is checking to see whether or not reloading is true. So hook up is reloading into your condition here and then for true, if it is, we are going to tell it to do nothing. So we are going to break that link. We do not want them to be able to aim down their sights while they are reloading. If we go ahead and hit false up to the de deactivate over here, that is going to stop it reloading uh, well, it's going to stop it aiming down sights while it's reloading. Let's see if we can test this. Press play, shoot a couple of times, press R to reload, and then if I hold down right click, I can no longer use the aim down sights until the reloading has finished. So that bit there is all set up and all good and fine and dandy. So, the next thing that we need to do then is the sprint side of things. So what we're going to do is go over to my third person character and then I'm going to run another check out of this false, that way we know it's definitely going to work. And with this, we need to check to see if sprint is true. And then we're just going to hook this up just like that. So the condition is sprint if true. If it's false, we are going to tell it to just run it normally. And then for true, we are just going to break this link by holding down alt and then click to delete that. And then for true, what we're going to tell it to do is essentially tell it to stop sprinting and then go into the and then go into the aiming down sight. So the way that we told it to stop sprinting over here um, for our sprinting stuff, if we can find it, is simply turn off the sprint true variable and set the max walk speed back down to the default, which was 600 if I am correct, as you can see here. So basically we're just doing the same thing. Now if you notice, I've actually got my sprint stuff set up over here. I could be really lazy and I could just drag my true into that and then hook this up into that, it's going to break things. So what I'm going to do is just take this bit, just copy it, so control C, control V, move it over here, see if we can tighten it up, and then after this set max walk speed, is just hook it up into the deactivate. Don't use the one you've got up here, because if you hook this up into deactivate like this, what it's going to do from there is then every time you stop sprinting, it's going to make you try and deactivate um, your normal camera and go into the aim down the sight one. So just keep this separate, just copy it to save us some time, just like I have done here. Hook this up into true and it should look just like this. So if we take a quick look at this now, if we hit compile and then hold down play, and then if I sprint, 
and then hold down right click to aim you're gonna see it goes to our aiming rather than our sprinting and that's all set up and that's all working so the next thing that I'm going to set up then, uh, now that we have got those working, is I want to do one thing. And that is over here, if we are reloading, sorry, if we are sprinting, is, no, it wasn't sprinting, was it? No. So if it was it if we were sprinting, yes, if we are sprinting, we want to run a check to see whether or not they're aiming down the sight, because if they are, I wanted to tell it to come out of the aim down sight. So let me show you exactly what I mean by that. So if I press play right now, and then if I try and sprint and then aim down sight, that's fine. But if I'm aiming down my sights and then try and sprint, you can see it still does that weird animation. So we've done it for aiming down sights first. This time we need to do it for sprinting. So what we need to do is grab our aiming, get a reference to that for this little branch here, and then if they are aiming, um, we need to tell it to stop aiming. And if it's false, then we just tell it to continue like normal. So hook up your false into this, view true, break that link, once again, hold down control, uh, sorry, alt, and then click to break this. And then what we're gonna do is grab all of our stuff here for coming out of it. So copy and paste all of this stuff. Um, or what you could do is even collapse this to a function. So uh, we are just gonna call this function uh, deactivate um, ADS. And what this is gonna do now is create this one simple little node here containing all the information for deactivating ADS and we can put it into one simple node and use it again over here. So grab this, hook this up to true, and then just drop it into there. Now what we need to do is get a reference to itself, which is fine, um, and then just hit compile, play, and then hopefully now if we try this, if we right click to aim down sight and shift, you can see it goes into sprinting and that's all good. It deactivates the aim down sights. So, that bit's all set up. Hopefully you guys have understand all of that, but it does get a little bit complex and I completely understand that. But what we're gonna do now then, now that we've done all that stuff, is we are gonna move on to showing you how you can remove the crosshair when the player is aiming down their sights because you don't want it to get in the way like it is at the moment. So let's show you how you can do this. Now if you remember, all the visual elements of our crosshair is contained within a widget blueprint. For us, it is WB crosshair, the one in our content browser just here. What we need to do is essentially bind the visibility of each of our objects inside of here to the variable for aiming. So what we're gonna do then is pretty much get the bottom, the right, the left, and the top in this little hierarchy here and get the uh, visibility. So we're gonna see if we can find this. So we are going to start with the one for bottom and we're just gonna look for visibility. You can see that's usually gonna be within behavior. So what I'm gonna do is get my visibility. You can see it's visible at the moment, create a binding for this, starting with the first one. And we are going to get over here, we are going to cast to the third person character so we can reference that aiming variable. So get aiming. And then, if we hook this up, sorry, if we hook target up to this, and then aiming, we'll sort that out in a second. Object wildcard needs to be get player character. And then as the aiming here, what we need to do is simply run a branch check. And then with this, we are gonna hook up our aiming into here. And then we're gonna copy and paste our return node as well. And then we are pretty much just gonna tell this to do different things for true and false. So if aiming is true, we wanna tell this to make it hidden. If it's false, we wanna make sure this is visible. And then what I'm gonna do quickly is pretty much just copy all of this new stuff that I've just created here. And then inside of my design view, I'm going to do the same thing for the right, the left, and the top, because if you remember, there is four parts of that crosshair. So if I just compile it as it is right now, when I aim down sights, you can see only the bottom one disappears. So I'm pretty much just going to do the same thing for all of these. Get right, go to visibility, create a binding for it, and then if you just delete that, paste all of this in, and then just hook that up, that's good. 
do the same thing for left, go to behavior, visibility, and then create binding, delete this, paste this, drop it in, and then if we go back one last time, do the one for the top as well, go to your visibility, create yet another binding, and then do this, just drop it in there. And make sure you delete the extra one. Now, what you could do is you could just use the same function for each, um, but if you wanna change specific things, you know, it's good to have one for each like you can see that I've done here. But if I compile this now, press play, and then right click, you can see it disappears and that's all good. And you can see our crosshair is gone. Anyway, that is pretty much all of the bugs for the aiming fixed for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video uh, just as much as I have. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.